Hi friends, today I am going to tell you about Moglana from Jakarta Stories. Do you know who Moglana was? He was one of the two chief disciples of Lord Buddha. He was also known as Mahamoglana in the Pali tradition. He had a best friend known as Sariputta. Both of them were childhood friends. It is said that their friendship lasted for seven generations. While Sariputta was known for his wisdom, Moglana was known for his possession of supernatural powers. He could create manifold living shapes. He could assume into any form. He shook the monastery of Migara Matupasada by the touch of his toe to warn some monks who were gossiping in the ground floor despite the knowledge that Lord Buddha was present upstairs. Well, Moglana was born on the same day as Sariputta. Moglana derives his name from his mother who was known as Mogali or Mogalani. Moglana was also known as Kolita which was the name of his village. Once Moglana and Sariputta went to see a mime play and through this play they realized the whole world itself is a drama because everything in the world is impermanent. This made them renounce the world and go in search of wisdom. Soon they became disciples of Sanjaya but dissatisfied by his teaching they both left him. They wandered the entire Indian subcontinent in search of a good guru. They separated with the understanding that they would inform each other of any worthy discovery. Sariputta was impressed by the discourse of Asaji who was a disciple of Lord Buddha. So he became his Sotapana. Sariputta went and informed Moglana as promised and brought him to Asaji. And thus Moglana too became a Sotapana of Asaji. Later Sariputta and Moglana along with the 500 disciples of their previous guru Sanjaya marched on to Lord Buddha. All the 500 disciples became Arahatas. Moglana went to the hamlet of Kalawal in Magadha and a week after his ordination he attained a higher stage of trance where he received the exhortation of Lord Buddha and finally achieved his Aratahood. Moglana demonstrated great supernatural powers. It was best exemplified in the subjugation of the great serpent Naga Nandopananda. Because of this he could enter the fourth stage of trance very quickly. When there was schism in the order engendered by Devadatta, Lord Buddha sent his two chief disciples to bring back the misguided monks. Both the monks accomplished their task by bringing back all the 500 disciples back to the order. If Sariputta was the preceptor of Rahula, the son of Lord Buddha, Moglana was his teacher. Both Sariputta and Moglana had mutual respect for each other. Moglana died a fortnight after Sariputta on a new moon night. Moglana's end was pathetic as he was beaten up and killed by the brigands in his cell in Kalasila. He then crawled and dragged his body with several crushed bones to the Lord Buddha to seek his leave to depart from this world. According to the traditions, the cause of his pathetic end was due to his misconduct to his old, senile and blind parents in one of his previous births as he had undertaken the ill advice of his wife to carry them to the forest and to beat them to death. He had followed that advice out of his infatuation during that birth. As no one can escape the fruits of karma, he too had his death in a similar manner in this birth. Moglana is identified with the numerous characters in the Jataka tales, Kisa Vacha in the Indriya Jataka, the tortoise in the Kurungamika Jataka, the tiger in the Tithira Jataka, the Garuda in the Vidura Pandita Jataka and so on. So that's it friends all about Moglana. I hope you all enjoyed and you will found this information very useful. Thank you.